Uh, take us through the Central Washington game a little bit. What were some of the things that you liked about uh, the team? Uh, obviously, you were in the game till the very end. Right. What were some of the positives that you take out of that game? Well, I take away that you're in the game to the very end, which is outstanding. To, I mean, when you're playing this game, especially a team like Central Washington, you want to make sure you're, you're in that position to say, we're there to now let's wrap this up. Um, you know, from my perspective, you know, having been here a while now to see the program grow, 2009, we play Central Washington. It's not even the same picture at all. I mean, that wild one, we're just, you know, we're completely outmatched in 2009. Um, this one, where we we end up making our mistakes, you know, we have our chances to to get to tie the game up, um, at least to put it into a one-score game, and you know, we uh, we don't we we turn the ball over, you know, and so. There's things like that that we've got to get going. I know offensively we're struggling with uh, the consistency, you know, with the quarterback injuries um, and just the injuries all in all, just kind of ramping throughout the whole offense. But I like the, the offense is they're, where they're going. I like the whole team as far as the direction they're going. And, um, you know, it, you, you want to be in the end in there, but now it's our, we got to make that next turn. we got to get there and finish these things off. And, and where would you say uh, the turnovers seem to have been a problem, especially on the road? Where, What kinds of things can you do to help correct that? Well, ball security is something we're always talking about around here. And, you know, I think it's, uh, I know, well, talking about the staff meeting this morning, it's a lot of uh, pace of practice, game type, game like scenarios, um, what we're going to do, just emphasizing more ball security drills. And then also emphasizing just decision making. And some of that comes with just seeing. Uh, the experience where receivers need to be on the same page as a quarterback. Uh, but, you know, all in all, at the end of the day, you take care of that football as an offense and you, as a defense, try to get that ball back. So um, you know, where, where I'm not happy with right now is our, our, you know, our turnover margin where we're at. You know, if we need to, that, that needs to get to the plus side and we're not there right now. So that's, that's a big improvement we we got to make soon. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, you Three three games into the the GNAC schedule, you get all these teams again. How how different do you think things will be when you when you get these teams again the next time? Yeah. You know, four weeks down the road. Well, you know, the thing you do is you you really got to manage yourself and just how you're getting. Are you getting uh, better with your the systems you employ, or are you just focused on the opponent? Now, when you're playing each other twice, there's a lot of emotional things that can come into it. Where we're at right now is just staying focused on what we do, and uh, I know. Um, what the schedule, what the excuse me, what the record doesn't show is is continued progression. As a coach, you see the continued progression. Um, one of the things, you know, <clears throat> I'm fortunate enough to have uh, grown up with uh, some parents that modeled perseverance for me. I mean, we had a lot of tough times growing up, and so uh, what I what what no one understands is that winning doesn't happen without that perseverance. You know, and so uh, you know, this these are my kids. These are my this is my team. I'm gonna treat them just like I was their own father. And you know, when you go home, you know your your kids could have a bad day. You don't disown them. You don't. Uh, you know, you're the, you got to be the one who believes in them, and I do. And so uh, I love this team. And you know, as we continue to have a lot of football left in front of us, uh, we're gonna continue to persevere. I'm gonna t- continue to own this team, and 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 we're gonna continue to own each other because we're a family around here. And so while what may be a bad day. Uh, on the field, it just doesn't mean that we're a bad, we're a bad team or a bad program. And so, uh, I stand by them as, but then also as a great dad, I'm going to hold uh, everything accountable, and make sure we're throughout from the staff down to the very, the very the least is just say, are we all heading in the right direction? Because if we're if we're not paddling in the same direction, we're just working against each other. So we'll we'll, we'll get that going there next uh, in, in this tonight's practice and as this whole week progresses. And then Coach coming home is always a good thing. What are you expecting this weekend out of the Cougar fans and just being yeah. in that environment? Well, they, they, our Cougar fans are amazing, and that's just so much fun to be in our stadium. And uh, you know, and now in Southern California, seeing the uh, the type of program and the type of game that's out there, uh, it's something that, you, that a lot of people in the, in, you know, the neighborhoods and in the whole San Gabriel area and in Southern California period are just they want to bring their families to and they want to. They want to get that experience, but our fans—they set the tone. Uh, an amazing blackout section. The noise is just uh, like no other stadium we play in in our whole league. And uh, with that, I mean this is this is the greatest game day experience there is going on in this whole Western region for this as this league goes. So uh, love our fans, man. They do a great job.
And uh, one of the parts of being at home this weekend is you get to participate in uh, Coach Takir MD. This is the third year you've done it. Talk about yeah. what, what that uh, partnership and what that program means to you. Yeah, I mean, the Coach Takir MD has been something we're very supportive of. Uh, we've had quite a uh, quite a few opportunities just to make sure we're, we're there out there and, and introduce ourselves and to uh, be, able to be able to be introduced to some very good people as part of this program. You know, it's uh, it's an unfortunate uh, genetic disorder that happens to a lot of young young men um, as it affects them in the young years and you know uh, right now it's 100% fatal and so we want to create awareness we want to create a, uh, awareness to the sense that um, with the AFC partnering with the AFCA and the vision between our executive director Grant Taft is is using the platform of football to um, say hey this 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 disease needs research this disease needs money to get things fixed and so um, you know for those guys young men who are dealing with it um you know, every awareness opportunity out there is, is critical. So we're, we're very, very proud to be a part of this this weekend. And then <clears throat> looking ahead to Western Oregon, uh, yeah. you know, they seem to throw the ball a lot more than they run, run it. <laughs> and yeah. this comes on the heels of a uh, Central Washington team that ran 65 times, yeah, threw it 12 times against you. Um, that, yeah. Week to week, how do you make that adjustment between those different styles? Well, the... You know that goes back just to off season where you have your planning. You see, you understand what you have your opponents, and so the, it built into the systems or the flexibilities to um, adapt yourself to whatever the emphasis is that the that then often other opponents in the offense has. Um, you know, Cody Van Oppen, he is a uh, tremendous athlete. Number one, I mean, just watching him on film, he just jumps off, and then he's got a live arm. Uh, the guy, I mean, I, he he just continues to be up there in the, in the top statistical categories of our uh, league so you know he uh he I, i'm i see his progression happening watching all the tape but uh, with that for us defensively is just you know it becomes with some of the option stuff they do a spread option offense is you still have to manage that uh that uh that responsibility football assignment football so uh you know arnie runs a great ship there at western oregon and so i'm anticipating you know Hey, they're going to give us their best. We're going to give you. Uh, we're going to give you our best. So it's uh, it's it's going to be a great game Saturday night. Then playing in the GNAC, this another Western Oregon team. You've, yeah. you've played these first four teams all within the last four years. Right. Um, what's it like actually having a season where you you kind of know a little bit what to expect from these teams? Well, you know, it's interesting. Just we talked about some league stats this morning, and uh, just to hear the words "league" come out of our mouths was. A, you know, it's awkward, and uh, so we're just we're just happy to be a part of this league, and so uh, it's interesting having played them in the last four years to to see now um, our players, and thankfully with recruiting and with the job our staff's done recruiting and building these guys up, you begin you you're having some of those weapons that can start matching up with people, and so uh, you know with Western, um, it's obviously a tough opponent, uh, but we begin we're you know. We're, we're starting to mash things up now. We're starting to grow. We're starting to get ourselves with that, the, in that D2 look, which you're excited about that. And then to go around twice and know, okay, we're going to see Central Washington again down the road. Um, you know, you, you make sure you, you make some great notes for the game and, and uh, can't let those lessons you learn be fresh because <clears throat> if, you, uh, if you don't fix them, you know, it's going to bite you again right around here in a few weeks. Yeah. So it, it's, it's a real interesting and fresh coaching challenge that we all, as a staff, we're, we're – we're taking every lesson in, but enjoying it as well. And then uh, Terrell yes. is up there. You talked about the league stats, and he's yeah. up there among the league, league, league leaders in rushing. Talk yeah. about how he's developing and how the offensive line is starting to come together in these last couple of games for you. Yeah, yeah I think you're starting to see the continuity of the offensive line is uh, helping to a sense where where Terrell's feeling comfortable, the offensive line's feeling comfortable. I thought they did a very good job with some of the games that Central Washington was trying to comp, uh, employ against us. But, you know, Terrell's special when it comes to, first, number one, who is a person. Um, but number two, he's a, he's a big, big back, and then we need that. And so he's a big back that also has the explosiveness to, to run away from you. So, um, you know, him being only a, a uh, Terrell only being a sophomore, you see his hunger to learn the game, uh, coach Byes, his running back coach, does an amazing job of just teaching him of what's happening. So week to week, Terrell, you know, I mean, from protection, from the way he runs it, the way he blocks, are all are all taking you know giant strides forward. So we're excited about him.